But by 870, that town was gone. And by the time John wrote the book of Revelations in AD 90, there was only seven churches that God could speak to. Amen. Amen. Paul had already said all of Asia has turned against me. Uh -huh. That church didn't last very long. We've been at it over a hundred years. They ain't got the first base. All right. All right. All right. I'm here to tell you all something. Just like he came. Uh -huh. And he helped that first century church. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's coming back again. Oh, yeah. Yes, to help this church. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. Amen. There was a church service that Jesus Christ had. He said, Paul said he appeared to 500 men. That's it. I wonder how many women and children were there. I wonder how many people was in that service that Jesus Christ attended that day. You know, <coughs> this is why we need to be conscious of everybody that walks in this assembly. Oh, yes. Because you don't know who's going to walk through that right. door. Amen, Amen. Right. brother. Amen. Mary Magdalene didn't recognize him. Uh-huh. No. The two men on the road to Amazus didn't recognize him. Nope. 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 When he appeared in their midst, they thought he was a spirit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't see him. They didn't know that was Christ when they were out in their boat fishing and he appeared on the shore. No. Brother, he'll make himself known oh, yes. to those that of us oh, yes. that have been looking for him. All right. Yes. Who are you looking for today? Jesus. I'm looking for Christ. Yes. Because when he appeared, I know that help is here. Oh, yes. They'll be back to here. And an enthusiasm yeah. here yeah. that we've never had before. Oh, yes. oh, right. yeah, Whether yeah. it's at that first sacred church in the upper room <laughs> where they carried for 10 days right. till the Holy Ghost came. Yes. Right. And it took a man that denied him uh, a few days earlier, yeah. put a backbone into him. Oh, yeah. Remember, he said, Rather be right to a big man or God, you be the judge. We don't want to do those things, brother. I was, the Holy Ghost didn't just do that. It was a fact that Christ had came back among them and gave them an enthusiasm and put a magnetism about them that called them to work for God. Like they had never worked for God. And that's what I'm looking for. That help is on the way. We just got to stay true to God. Keep coming back to church. Yeah. Here in the eleventh tenth chapter of Hebrews. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, what are you going to do when the beast really speaks? What are you going to do? What am I going to do when Swan Lake Billy says I can't live there anymore? Compassion of me in my bonds, and you took, spoilful, took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. You know, no matter what this world says about you, no matter what this world does to you, you're to take that joyfully. What was there about the Thessalonian church that could receive the word of God even, that did joyfully, even though they were in much affliction? How is it they could do that? Because they understood something. Oh, yeah. And I'm here to tell you now, unless you understand what your hope is, unless you understand about the resurrection, yeah. unless you understand about the establishment of that kingdom, unless you realize what's going to happen, yeah. 
I may do Bible study tomorrow night. If I do, I've decided already, bring your marching shoes. Bring your knapsack. We're going to go to the wilderness of Aaron, and we're going to head toward Jerusalem. But if you don't understand what's going to happen out here in just a few short years, this world will sap you, wrap you up. The devil will wrap you up yeah. like you're not hardly a you can get. Amen, yeah. brother. Uh -huh. But the more I understand yeah. about my, the resurrection oh, yeah. and the kingdom and the hope that I have, the easier it is for me to stand here and as Brother Tim said, told us last night, get on out of here, yeah. devil. Yeah, amen. Oh, yeah. Until I know that, yeah. I'll never stand for God. No. Till you know that, you'll never stand for God. Amen. Brother Carlson, do you know it? I'm getting there. <laughs> the reason that I can take affliction and the reason that I can stand against the devil. And the reason I can fight against the flesh, and the reason I can overcome the world, is because I know. I don't think about it. It's not a maybe with me. It's not a could happen. I know in myself. I don't know because of you. I know because of me. And you've got to know it for yourself. Uh -huh. You can't guess about it. You can't hope about it. You've got to come to the place where you move beyond thinking about it and it becomes a reality to oh, yeah. you uh -huh. that this is what I've got uh -huh. and thus knowing that I have, uh, uh, in, I ha have in heaven a better and a more enduring substance. Oh, yes. Amen. Uh, you young yes. folks won't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, remember, uh, us old folks were young just like you one time. Yeah. And we didn't believe it either. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I can remember when I was 16, yeah. got my driver's license. Yeah, man. Oh, man, yeah. I was king of the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't even have one. <laughs> I remember the first time I sold over an airplane. <coughs> when the instructor got out and said, All right, take off. Yes. And I got up to about 4,000 feet and I looked over. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. But all you can see, I made it back down. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I remember those times. But now there's, I've come to the age, soon be 75. I've come to that age where, thank God, though the earthly house of this tabernacle be dissolved. I've got another house. Oh, hallelujah. Not made with hands. All right. It's eternal in the heaven. Oh, yes. And in this house, oh, yes. I've grown because every day there's something new going wrong. Oh, yes. Which we do, Lord. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Every day there's a pain. Yes. Every day there's a new ache. Yes. All you older folks know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Woke up this morning. You go to bed feeling pretty good at night, wake up in the morning, you don't know if you're even going to be able to get out of bed. God help us. <laughs> that way this morning. Oh, uh, yeah. Great God. Great God. See, I've got another, I've got another house. Thank you. I believe in the fact that in my father's house are many mansions. Yeah, man. If it yeah. were not so, he would have told me. Right. But there's one there for me. Wonder, and he yeah. went back to prepare a place for me. Oh, yes. That where he is, there I may yes. be also. Oh, he told me, in, in Thessalonians, Paul made this statement. 
the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes. And we which are alive will be gathered together with them. And we're going to be called up together. Oh, yes. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, let's just quote that scripture. Yes. Some people believe that we're going to go to heaven and spend every... I said, I had a preacher tell me, he said, there in the cloud there, shall we ever be with the Lord? I said, the word there is not there. It says, so shall we ever be with the Lord. In other words, what that says is everywhere Christ goes, yeah. his wife, his bride, yeah. is going with him. Oh, right. <laughs> Whether he's in heaven or he's here on the earth. Oh, Amen. Right. Whether he's out to Mars or beyond the Milky Way. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that. Right. That's what holds me steady tonight. I understand all this. Oh, yes. I understand there's a resurrection. Oh, yes. I don't lay down at night and say, I wonder if I'll die tonight. Oh, my heart don't feel so good. Oh, my chest don't feel so good. Brother, I wouldn't turn my hand because I know. Yeah. That one day oh, I'll wake again yeah. to Hallelujah. sleep no right. more. Right. I know that one day yeah. I'm going to hear the sound of the archangel. Yeah. One day yeah. I'm going to hear the sound of the trumpet. Oh, yeah. One day the dead in Christ shall rise yeah. first. Oh, and if I make it through the next few years and I'm alive, I'll be chained in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. Yeah. And brother, oh. I won't need an airplane oh, yes, to get above the clouds. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what holds me tonight. Yes. That's what holds me today. Yes. Is the fact I understand the resurrection. All right. I understand the kingdom. Yes. I understand what's going to take place. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to that day oh, yes. when we march through the wilderness and behind us it turns into a luscious uh, vegetation. And it, and it makes a statement in the, I believe it was the 68th chapter of Psalm and said he puts families in the <coughs> desert. <coughs> well, there's nobody living there now. No. No. But there will be. There will be. Amen. One day. Yeah. One day, One day. I will. Praise God. Doesn't matter where I am. He'll send his angels around to the four winds of the earth, gather the elect, and we're all going to be taken to the same place. I used to always think you had to be buried in a certain place. I found out it don't make any difference where you're buried. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. God knows where you are. You see, I've got my plot and everything and funeral all planned for another city. Because I believe I had to be buried in a certain cemetery in a certain part of a town and I limited my God. I could be buried anyway. Amen. Right. God. He's not going to resurrect my old body anyway. Right. It's my soul. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've got another house. Yes, I don't ever want to see this old crepid one again. Oh, praise God. Take care of it while I've got it and appreciate it while I have it. But one day I'm going to leave it all behind. I'm going to lay down the cross. I'm going to lay down the old sword and I'm going to pick up my robe and I'm going to pick up my crown. Hallelujah. Cast away, therefore, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. One of the most important things that you can keep and hold on to is your confidence. Yes. Preachers will say, well, no, you got to have the right doctrine. That won't save me. Yes. Preachers have squabbled over doctrine for 2,000 years. And there's some folks, some folks we used to be acquainted with, you go around them, 
thing I want to know is how you believe you believe in moving our lives soul or not. Because <laughs> if you do and they don't, they don't want you. Or vice versa. Don't want to know, do you believe in a personal devil? Or don't you? <laughs> it don't matter. All right. Come on, brother. All it right. don't matter what I believe about the Godhead. Oh, yeah. God knows how many is in the Godhead. He don't need me to tell him how many is in the Godhead. He don't need me to tell you whether you move out of life so or not. He doesn't need me to tell you whether there's a personal devil or not. God knows all that. Oh, yes. Yes, he does. Yes. The first thing God checks, and you get this, and you get it right. When he looks at you, he doesn't care about your doctrine because he knows what it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what he does care about. The Bible said, God knows them that had the doctrine just like he has it. No. 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 God knows them that has all the riches of this world. No. No, I'll tell you who God knows. Through all the hell we go through. Through all the trouble we go through. For all the problems that we have. God looks for one thing. He knows them that trust in him. Oh yes, he bless. He bless. We were at a meeting not too long ago. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And they were trying to take, they were trying to do what their fellowship was going to take Jesus Christ to do for a fellowship. Believe me. <laughs> and I remember one old preacher yeah. stood up and he said, Look, brother, after all you've done, after all we've gone through as a fellowship, how are we? How do you expect us to trust you again? And the preacher stood up, made one of the dumbest statements I ever heard in all my life. <coughs> That's when I decided that group was not for me. And he made this statement. He said, "It doesn't matter." He said, trust <coughs> is overrated. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, wow. And I thought, why, well, you big dummy. <laughs> God knoweth them that trust in him. God, trust is not overrated. Trust is underrated. Because he that cometh to God must know the doctrine. Oh, yeah, no. He that cometh to God must be doing everything right. No, no. no he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. But doctrine where it belongs is not the top priority. If you know, the more you learn about the coming of Jesus Christ in the second advent, uh -huh. and according to all the mathematical figures you can work out, it can't be far away. Nope, nope. I, I don't care what goes on in the Middle East. Nope. I'm not interested in the scandals going on. I don't keep track of them. They can record my phone calls, but I don't get very many anyway. I won't take up much of their computer system. They can check the emails that I write. Oops, I haven't wrote any. They can have the emails that I get because it's just nothing but advertising on me to spend my money anyway. I'm not interested in all of that. Man, brother. Because I got somebody else keeping tabs. On. Oh yes, we got. Yes. I've got somebody else watching over oh, me. Oh yes, and he does far more for me. 
than the government could ever do. All right. And that's Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Because all things are open and naked before him. I can't hide a thought from him. I can't hide a feeling from him. I can't 